What is going on everyone? It's your boy Mr. Opulent here and welcome to this training video. In this training, I'm going to be sharing with you how we've been able to generate over $219,000 in a 30-day window using a very, very interesting modality of marketing that is very, very simple, is very, very hands-free and is very, very newbie-friendly as well. So first things first, I know that a lot of people are going to be very, very skeptical when I say $219,000 and I'm a 23-year-old, right? And I'm making that in a 30-day period of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to um, a, like a video that I'm going to show you guys recording to show you guys proof that this was real. And uh, just to show you guys some real income proof and show you guys that I was able to actually do this, okay? So let's go ahead and let's see this and um, I'll be back in a sec to show you guys. And again, there's no there's no guarantee of income, so big income disclaimer. I can't guarantee that you're going to be able to make hundreds of thousands of dollars in your business by watching this video and doing what we say. I mean, that would be improper of me. This is business at the end of the day. You can make money, you can lose money. It's the name of the game, okay? But I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do and there's nothing to be, I'm not selling anything in this video. So guys, right, just take notes to make notes and um, let me show you guys exactly income proof right now. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Mr. Opulent here. And in this quick video, I basically wanted to show you guys some of the results that I've been getting uh, for the month of July. Uh, it's just about, let me actually show you the time and date so you guys can see that this is real time as well. So you can see right now it's 11.54, Sunday 31st of July 2016. I'm in London, United Kingdom. I'm actually at my office right now. Um, and let me press time and date here so you can see this is real time. So it's 11.56. I know a lot of people say that, yeah, I should be sleeping, but here grinding away, working hard in the office, uh, 31st of July 2016 and London, United Kingdom. So what I'm gonna do is actually wanna show you some real time income. I'll show you some of the results that I've been able to get um as of july so this is at the last seven days july 25th to july 31st and uh, you can see that we generated forty eight thousand dollars in revenue um but i want to show you guys some of the results for let's say the whole month okay so i'm just going to press uh this month july and i'll press run report and we can see that this month we were able to generate, if you see this column right here, in revenue, uh, we was able to generate $219,000, okay? So uh, from July 1st to July 31st, we were able to generate $219,000, okay? And again, um, this is something that is just one segment of my business. I have other things that I do as well. Um, I have um, like a training products, consulting that I do, uh, private coaching for people and whatnot. But I'm not going to include that because that is kind of different. This is just basically sending traffic, right, pretty much to affiliate offers and being able to monetize, right, those offers uh, through arbitrage, okay? So welcome back. And a lot of you guys are probably asking how the hell were we able to do this, okay? And it's a case where... I mean, I'm 23 years of age. I mean, I haven't got a university degree. I haven't got anything like that's that special about me um, that allowed me to really do this. I wasn't built with, uh, born with a, a silver spoon in my mouth. But how were we able to do this? How were we able to generate over $219,000 without our own product? Um, I didn't have to even build an email list. I didn't have to deal with fulfillment or shipping of a product. And I didn't even have to recruit people that's typical with like MLM or typical with a lot of these network marketing organizations. And it's through a very, very hands-free business model called CPA Marketing. And CPA basically stands for cost per acquisition um, in some instances, right? But it also stands for cost per action, okay? So, I mean, if we're talking about from the perspective of you owning a business and you're looking at your CPA, you're going to talk about cost per acquisition. But in this instance, when I'm talking about CPA Marketing, that's called cost per action marketing. And it's a different modality of marketing where... Instead of you just getting paid per sell, I mean, like with CPA, I mean, a lot of you guys might be asking, like, what is CPA? But CPA is basically a modality of marketing where instead of just getting paid for a sell, which is that traditional affiliate marketing, you can get paid for every single lead or every single phone call or every single download that you can generate a business, okay? So it doesn't always have to just be a sell. It can be a lead, it can be a phone call, it can be download, it can be a couple of other things as well. It could be a trial sell rather than a full straight sell. Um, and you can get paid a certain dollar amount for every single action they can generate for a business. And these are real businesses. So 
I mean, a lot of businesses out there, they do get a lot of their traffic from CPA uh, traffic, okay? And some of them, I mean, there's some big businesses that do that. Uh, some businesses, I mean, they still rely on just tr traditional affiliate marketing. But I mean, there's CPA is, is, is just a form of marketing. It's not something that's really ridiculously brand new. It's just a, a performance-based marketing option that you have. Um, that can be very, very easy for newbies and uh, it can have lower resistance, okay? There's not as many barriers to entry compared to, let's say, for example, if you wanted to promote uh, physical products on Shopify, you have to deal with fulfillment. You have to deal with uh, refunds, right? You have to deal with shipping. You have to deal with a lot of stuff like that. But with CPA, you don't really have to do that, okay? You're going to get paid for a specific action and that's it. Point and plan, period. So you can get paid for something as simple as this. So for example, this is an offer called the Brit Method. If you are in other parts of the world, you might see different like instances of this offer. But you can get paid for literally somebody for uh, filling out their name and email address into this web form. And it doesn't always, it's not always like a, a huge amount. It's not going to be like $100 for somebody filling out their name and email address into a web form. But it could be something like $2. And if you can generate loads of people and send loads of people to this kind of offer, then you can make a lot of money, okay? And this is exactly what I was able to do. Uh, to be able to generate over $219,000 um, in a 30-day window of time. So, here's the easiest way to be able to make money from CPA, and it's a process called arbitrage. And arbitrage is basically getting something for one price and flipping it for another price, okay? And be able to pocket the, the difference. So, for example, with CPA, our whole, literally, our whole process is very, very simple. We buy traffic online, and we aim to spend like $1 of traffic and we aim to generate $2 of sales, okay? Or $2 of commissions. It doesn't always have to be a sell, so this is just $2 of commissions. So for example, if we can spend $1 to get somebody to put their name and email address into an offer that pays out $2, then we're gonna be able to profit $1. And we can literally have an income machine that quite literally produces money 24 seven. Whether we're sleeping or not, it will continue to produce money because you don't have to always be there on your laptop to have an advertisement run, okay? And we just use, I personally focus on paid advertising because it's quick, um, but I mean, you can always use free advertising, but it's gonna be way slower. But I only teach paid advertising because that's what I do. Um, and it's, it's the only way I really can think about uh, scaling the business fast, okay? Free advertising is a bit, a bit slow. So I'm gonna go through some math with you. <laughs> Don't get scared, it's gonna be very, very simple math, but I really wanna break down the, the, the mechanics of how we're able to make this work for ourselves. So we send traffic, and traffic is just basically people that we're sending to a specific website. So you make an advertisement to get people's attention. People click on your advertisement, and they, they can go to a page that's called a landing page. And the landing page, the whole job of a landing page is to pre-sell the offer, and usually it improves your conversions, okay? So it's kind of like, if you just use this analogy of uh, seeing a girl or man for the first time, and you just say, do you wanna be my wife or do you wanna be my husband? They're probably gonna think you're crazy. They're gonna be like, nah, you're, you, you're, you're wild right now. But if you were to kind of uh, maybe offer them a compliment the first time you see them, then maybe ask for their number, then take them on a date, then be boyfriend and girlfriend, then, what's happening is you're building trust, you're building rapport with that person. Then after maybe a few years, or in some cases, a few months, um, if you ask them if you want to be your wife or husband, then you might have a higher chance. And the landing page kind of does the same thing. It kind of warms people up before the kill. So it warms people up to an offer. So again, same offer, this offer pays out, let's say for example, just in this example, it pays out $2 per lead. Then Every single time we spend $100 on traffic, let's just imagine that we are able to generate 1,000 visitors, so 1,000 people click on the ad and go to our landing page. Um, and let's just imagine that we're able to get a 50% click-through rate on our landing page. So 50% of people that click on the landing page go to the offer. So we have 500 people that are now seeing the offer. Let's imagine as well that our offer converts at 20%. And again, this offer pays out $2 per lead. So that means we're gonna have 100 people out of the 500 people that see the offer, we're gonna have 100 people that are gonna put their name and email address in to the little form. And um, if it pays out $2 per lead, we're gonna have 100 people at $2 per lead, that means we're gonna generate $200 in commissions. And that means we spent $100 to generate $200 in commissions and we profited $100. And again, this can happen 24 seven. It can happen in your sleep, it can happen in your pajamas, it can happen while you're out. 
So it's a very, very automated way of making money. And again, people don't have to know your face. They don't have to know where you're from. These advertisements, they don't say anything about you, but you literally can send them to third-party offers and get paid for every single lead, call, or even sell, or download that you can generate for a specific business. Actually, you can get paid those commissions um, on a very, very routinely basis. So in order to really create this kind of income machine, you really need three things. You need a high converting ad, you need a high converting landing page and you need a high converting offer. And if you have these three things in, in, in sync and working with each other, you can create this income machine and you can really, really make a huge amount of money. And again, you've seen proof of me doing it. So you have two options when it comes to this about finding different ads that are really, really high converting, uh, creating different landing pages that convert really high and uh, creating or finding different offers that convert really well. So you can either start from scratch or you can swipe existing winning campaigns. Now, if you start from scratch, you're kind of making stuff with the presumption that you're gonna test loads of different stuff from your mind and you're gonna see what works. It's kind of like throwing so much stuff against the wall and seeing what sticks. But the only unfortunate thing about that is if you were to start from complete scratch, um, when it comes to finding or creating an ad, when it comes to finding or creating a landing page, and when it comes to finding or creating an offer, it's gonna take a lot of time and it's gonna take a lot of money to, to really test and it's gonna take a lot of resources as well to be able to get that profitable, okay? So what I prefer to do is I prefer to swipe existing winning campaigns, deploy it for myself. So things that are making other people a lot of money, I like to swipe what they're running. I like to run it for myself and I like to improve on it. And if I can do that, it's gonna shorten the time massively that's gonna take for me to be able to create that scenario where I'm spending $1 of traffic and generating $2 in revenue. And if I can do that, um, I mean, I can make money and there's just just know that yes, there's gonna be competition out there, but I mean, people are doing this routinely. And um, if you swipe, deploy and improve, which is a method that I learned from one of my mentors, um, you're able to make a lot of money very, very quickly, okay? I mean, yes, people might say it's unethical, but I mean, at the end of the day, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I was able to find a campaign that generated me over six figures in a month. Um, and routinely, gener I generate over six figures per month in my business uh, doing this process. So it does definitely, definitely work. And it's probably the most newbie friendly process. So what I want to do is I'm actually gonna go to my computer and I'm gonna show you guys exactly my step-by-step -step strategy for finding winning campaigns, for finding winning combinations of ads, landing pages, and offers. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly um, uh, pretty much my process um, for, for doing it. And again, there's nothing to, 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 to buy in this video. So just take notes and uh, make sure you have a notepad so you can really write things down. Because again, I do this every single day uh, with my business. I have my media buyers. These are people that actually make campaigns for me and make um, advertisements for me. I, I tell them to do the exact same thing. And it's a very, very simple process that anybody can do. Uh, so make sure you just uh, stay tuned and take a lot of notes and uh, let's get straight into it. Okay, so right now I'm actually on my computer and I'm actually gonna show you my process step-by-step step of how I find winning campaigns. So it's very, very simple. All I do is I try and find, and I kind of use this logic. If somebody's running something and they're spending money on traffic and they're generating a lot of visitors to their specific web page or the landing page or the domain name, then it's, it's kind of likely that they're spending a lot of money on that. And because again, like people and a lot of people, they cost money in most circumstances. So if somebody's spending money on advertising and they're generating a lot of people to their website and they're doing it for a long period of time, it's likely that they might have something that might be working for them. It's not going to be likely that somebody's going to spend $10,000 a day on advertising if they're not going to be making a return back from that. So I use that kind of logic when I'm reverse engineering and when I'm spying on competitors. So to spy on competitors, I'm gonna show you guys a very, very ninja way on how you can find like mobile landing pages, how you can find desktop landing pages, how you can find landing pages and ads and offers in uh, multiple countries. And it's very, very simple. So what I start off doing is I literally start off browsing around like, I, I typically like um, ads that are native ads, okay? So I do a lot of uh, media buying when it comes to like banners and native ads. I'm, if you guys don't know what native ad is, I'm gonna show you guys an example of it. But essentially what I want to do is I want to look for people that have a lot of traffic going to their website because it's likely that they're spending a lot of money on that traffic. So I might browse around on different blogs. So um, what I'm actually on right now is if I just take a few steps back, I'm using something right that I actually want you guys to download right now called a user agent switcher 
And what user agent switcher allows you to do is it allows you to emulate your browser on like your laptop or your desktop um, into a specific device. Okay, so it allows you to see ads that are running on iPhones, ads that are running on Androids, ads that are running on tablets, it allows you to see all of that. So just download user agent switcher. It's a, like a it's like a, a Chrome extension and just add it to your browser. So once you've done that, you can actually browse your, and for this example, I'm just gonna browse um, my browser as like a phone, that's like an iPhone, but you can browse your browser as like a, a Nexus tablet, Samsung, uh, Firefox, loads of different stuff, okay? It's a completely free tool, and um, you guys should definitely, definitely, definitely download it. I'm actually include like a link to it somewhere below this video. So, for this example, I've just changed my browser to an iPhone, and um, what I actually do as well um, is, because I want to browse not only just ads in my country, sometimes you can find really, really solid ads in different countries as well, is I use a thing called, a little application called a VPN. And what VPN, let me just see if I can tab it in for you. So uh, VPN. What VPN, and I use a, let me just show you the VPN that I use. I use a VPN. I mean, there's some free VPNs out there. Uh, but I use a VPN called Hide My Ass Pro VPN. And what a VPN allows you to do is it allows you to um, browse your specific uh, like computer or desktop in a different geographical location. So for example, you just download this little application. I mean, it's what, £7.99 per month, about $10 per month. And um, you can download like a little application like this. And you can pretty much emulate your browser from different locations. So, I mean, I can see my browser from Afghanistan. I can see ads in uh, Bahamas. I can see ads that will be appearing in, like, Canada, okay? Um, and loads of different places. So, the great thing about using a VPN and using the user agent switcher is it allows me to have a very, very big, broad scope of different ads that might be running in different locations and on different devices. So, I mean, that's just food for thought. That's the two tools that I use. And uh, for this example, I'm just gonna show you some ads that I run on an iPhone, so you know how to use this. So again, with a VPN, just download it and uh, put your login credentials in and they can just change your browser to anybody or anywhere, any one of these geographical locations. And with the user agent switcher, all you do is you put um, the user agent switch into your browser and it allows you to change your browser into different locations. So I like seeing ads in different countries, but for this example, I'm just gonna use UK because uh, I'm based in London right now. And um, I'm gonna use iPhone, okay? Because a lot of people are making money from mobile. Mobile is one of the hotspots as well for traffic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to some websites and you can just you browse around different blogs. Um, and there's just so many modalities of traffic that there's not just one specific website that you can browse on. But let's say, for example, if I go onto a website called uh, jellyshare.com, because I know this blog has a lot of ads on, what I'm gonna be able to see is I'm gonna be able to see uh, different ads that are on this website. So the, the, these ads that are like banner ads, but I don't really wanna look for banner ads at this moment. I'm gonna specifically look for like native ads. And again, there's so many blogs out there, but you wanna go to some high traffic blogs. So these are blogs that get a lot of visitors on them. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys a tool that's gonna show you exactly how much visitors a website gets. Now, once I'm on these blogs, right, like jellyshare.com, I mean, I can pretty much browse around like things like this. So you can see trending now, paid content. This means that people are spending money to advertise on this blog. And these are called native ads, where the ads that are similar to the look of the content and look of this blog, but they kind of blend in with the content and people actually are making a killing from these types of ads. So what I actually do is I start clicking around on some of these ads. So for example, how to get paid 356 uh, pounds every day without a job in the UK. I click here and this is a landing page, okay? So again, remember there's something that pre-sells the offer. So this is the ad that people were spending money on and this would have, uh, somebody would be paying a specific amount to be able to generate that click. And um, we get sent to his landing page and it says British mum makes 12,500 pounds per month from home and you won't believe how she does it. And if we actually click on the offer, that's called the Brit method right here, we're gonna go to that exact offer that I showed you <laughs> earlier on. 
and this guy might get paid for every single name or email address okay that um is, is put in is inputted right here and it might be a small amount but i mean these kind of offers they convert very very well and people are making killings at like fifty thousand dollars a day okay promoting simple like make money online type offers like this but again just note as well that this person instead of just sending it from the ad straight to the offer he had a landing page before that that um he used to be able to pre-sell the specific offer now what we want to do is we want to try and find affiliates that are running a lot of traffic to the landing pages because think about it every single time somebody clicks on one of these ads this person is going to get charged okay this person right here is going to get charged and then you have to go through a traffic network to be able to create this ad and the easy way to find the traffic network that this person is using to be able to advertise on this website is to look for where it says that like, paid content click on it and you'll see the company that they're using to be able to buy traffic from so they're using a company called content.ad to be able to make an ad that appears on this specific website so we want to be able to see if this person is a high volume person if he's sending a lot of traffic to his website so in order to do that we want to use a very very sneaky application called similarweb.com okay similarweb.com and what we're able to do is if we actually grab this person's domain name similarweb.com allows us to see how much traffic that this person gets on a monthly basis so i just put his domain name in and we're going to see how much traffic this person gets on a monthly basis so guys look at this right um, i mean he's been generating routinely between about hundred thousand to three hundred thousand visitors per month to his website which is a lot of traffic and again um it says right here how much traffic is your i look at some of these options but i don't really pay too much attention because it can be a bit confusing but i like to look at this kind of information because it tells me that this person has been running a lot of advertising to his website for quite a long period of time okay so this person's running between 100,000 visitors to 300,000 people that's paying for so let's just imagine if every single visitor costed them i don't know like 10 cents okay that might mean that he might be spending every single month like twenty thousand dollars ten thousand dollars to thirty thousand dollars per month um generating traffic to his website and some of the time somebody some of these people are making a two times a return on their money a one time return on their money a three times return on their money so by looking for people that have consistently sent i typically look for people that have sent at least a hundred thousand people per month uh, to their website for quite a long period of time they're people that are usually seasoned affiliates that um, know what they're doing that they've got things dialed in um, i like to kind of mimic them and see what they're doing okay so once we found a person like this we might want to take note of this and we might then decide that again we're looking at our um our browser from an iphone so this person we now are just kind of picking the pieces together this person is generating quite a lot of traffic to the website probably making money from it i mean he's got 15 percent of his traffic coming from ireland 14 uh, percent of his traffic coming from south africa 12 percent of his traffic coming from united arab emirates uh, 11 percent of his traffic coming from japan 8 percent of his traffic coming from sweden so we might want to target these specific countries as well okay so we're getting kind of like a blueprint of what he might be doing that might be working relatively well um and again uh, like what a uh, similar web it has quite a bit of information but i mean i kind of look at that i use other tools for other stuff as well but we can see that this person right now is advertising the uk as well for this specific offer this work at home offer using this type of ad and is running on this uh, traffic network content.ad so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to save this ad just to my desktop and i'm going to take a screenshot as well of this ad copy because this might be working very very well for him and i'm going to show you guys exactly how to delve even deeper into this so now we've found somebody and it might take you a bit of time to be able to just click on those different ads and whatnot so i mean i've clicked on this person right here and what do you notice same type of landing page as this person so what can that tell you that might tell you and let's see what offer this person is running so we can just look at the offer quantum code quantum code so we we might be able to see i mean if we're able to click on loads of these ads and we start seeing there's a commonality in the type of page that they're using to pre-sell the offer that pretty much tells us that this page is something that might be working relatively well 
for quite a lot of people. So let's see how much traffic that this person is generating to the website. So I'm gonna go back to similarweb.com. And I'm gonna search. And whoa, you can see that this person again is generating over 100,000 visitors uh, per month to their website. So, and let's see the type of offer that these, this person's promoting. Let's see, quantum code. And they're promoting this offer that might pay them for every single name and email address that's entered right here. Let me just exit out of that. Let me just click it again. So we've seen two people that are generating over 100,000 visitors per month to the website, which is, is a good starting point. Um, and recently they've both been generating at least 300,000 visitors per month, okay? To, or in, in, in the last month to the website. So the great thing about this is it's telling us that these people are probably making money from all of that traffic that they're sending to their landing page. And it's got a very, very similar landing page between both of them. So these kind of landing pages, they're called avatorial pages. And they're kind of like, uh, kind of like news bloggy websites. And um, they kind of are really, they, I mean, take the truth, I make a lot of money from these type of pages. Um, like, but again, you have to kind of make sure that you're, you're compliant. So stuff like having fake comments and stuff like that, it can kind of put you in a bit of hot water as well, especially with the FTC. So just use these uh, with caution. But you can also make compliant advertorial pages as well that don't get you in too much hot water. So once we've done that, I'm going to save this ad as well. And I'm going to take a screenshot of this because I might use this later on. What I want to do is now, if you really think about it, think about it logically. These people are sending a lot of traffic to their landing pages. Uh, these people are using very, very similar types of ads. So how to get paid £356 every day without a job in the UK. How to get paid £287 every day without a job in the UK. So if we start to see there's a commonality of the type of ads that people are using, and there's a commonality in the type of landing pages that people are using, we might want to swipe that because again, we don't want to reinvent the wheel. We want to take what's working, what other people are making money from, and to be able to run it for ourselves and then improve it on it by um uh, by by ourselves by testing different elements. Okay, so we can test different images, we can test different headlines. Okay, and we might be able to find a better combination than these people and be able to make uh, even more money than these people. So we can actually look for where he's getting this offered. So let's say the Brit method right now. We know that this person is running on content.ad. They're running this, this type of ad, which we might be able to gauge might be working. So we might wanna have like a file of ads that have this type of image or have this type of uh, text. And we start to really browse around and snoop around and refresh our screen on iPhone, which we're on. And that way we can then, once we're making ads ourselves, and I'm probably gonna do a whole different video on how to make ads and how to set up ads and whatnot for ourselves. But once we um, start to really get a swipe file and start to really see the commonalities that's out there in the marketplace by browsing different high traffic websites. So jellyshare.com is a blog that gets, let's see how much traffic this, this blog gets. So this blog, it gets, let's see, a uh, million people per month, okay, which is quite a lot of traffic. So that's why I like to go on like these viral blogs and take note of them because people are killing it from these types of advertisements. So we know right now, let's actually just write it down that let's, let me show you guys the competitive intelligence that we've done. So this person right now is running on iPhone because of the user agent switcher where they're running in the United Kingdom. And also they're running this ad on content.ad, which we were able to find by pressing this right here and seeing uh, content.ad as a traffic network, content.ad, and they're running this type of ad, which is how to get paid X, Y, Z amount of money every day in the UK without a job. Okay, and I might try and take some of their domain names and paste it here. So these are the landing pages that they're using. So I put landing page landing page and uh, there was another one as well. I think I've lost it. So once we have that information, we might think, okay, what type of offer are these people promoting? And um, you guys remember that there's the offer called Brit Method. So if we wanna find out where to get the Brit Method, this specific offer, we can go to a very, very nice website called offervault.com. 
So O F F E R V A. I'm gonna have links to everything as well um, in the description. And all we want to do is we want to type in Brit Method um, into here. And this is basically a, a website that shows us um, how to uh, find networks that have specific offers. So if we put Brit Method, let's see Brit Method. Okay, you see that Brit Method S O I U K. So you see this. So we can see that an SOI basically stands for single opt-in. So from this specific offer, we can see that somebody, and it converts on a two-page submit. So after somebody puts their name and email address in, I think we have to complete like another little form as well. And uh, the, the, the conversion pixel fires. So by going on offer vault, we found a network that actually has this offer, this network right here. And this offer pays $15 right, per lead for a lead that puts in two uh, pages of information. So this page right here, the name and email address and another page that's gonna be after that. I mean, let's see if we can, let's put some fake information. So this might actually make somebody money. So literally, if somebody puts their name and email address in and puts their first name, last name, phone number, email and password, you can get paid $15. I mean, a lot of people, they don't even get paid that in a cell. And if you actually look at like MLM companies and uh, network marketing organizations, I mean, people don't even get paid that sometimes in commissions for selling like a $100 product. So that's why CPA is a very, very hands-free business model because we don't know the person that made this specific ad or this specific ad. We don't know the person that made this landing page right here. We don't know the person that's gonna be behind this offer. But what we do know is that this offer pays $15 and it's pretty likely, and, and just to be honest with you, I mean, native ad traffic, you can get for very, very cheap for like 10 cents per click, 5 cents per click, 15 cents per click. And if you can get an equation where you're able to run um, ads that are working already, so ads like this, send it to a web page like this, okay, and send it to an offer that pays out $15 per lead, then literally you can go out there and crush it and you can literally generate hundreds of leads per day uh, to an offer like this, okay? And I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, if you just follow that, it's, it's a very, very simple method. I mean, this is, there's a way how to use um, more expensive tools as well. Uh, like I use a tool called, I mean, I might just show you this for example purposes, but I mean, I'm not really gonna get too deep into it because this is gonna be like a beginner kind of training to show you guys exactly how we was able to find out um, specific campaigns that work for ourselves. But if you guys actually want to go deeper and you're a bit more advanced, then I actually use a software called What Runs Where. And uh, with what runs where, we're able to actually do a bit more, like uh, we're able to dig a bit deeper. And um, this is what runs where right here. We're able to paste the domain name that we have seen gets a lot of traffic, okay? So um, I remember that this domain name, how much traffic did it get? Like 300,000 people per month? Yeah, 300,000 or 368,000 people per month. So I'll paste this domain name because I know this person is spending a lot of money on traffic. Um, I paste this domain name into What Runs Where, which is just a t uh, another higher level software they can use. And press search, and it's going to pull up all of the places that this person is running and spending the most of their money on. So we can see that right now, this person is advertising a lot on content or ad, which is the place right here that we saw right here. They're running a lot, they're running 90% of their traffic on content.ad. And let's see some stuff even more. Let's say uh, they're targeting mainly males, mainly United Kingdom. So they're probably blasting this offer, um, uh, the quantum code, or was it the Brit method? I can't remember which one, which of the offers it was. But they're running a lot of traffic in the United Kingdom. So if we're making an ad, we might want to target the United Kingdom starting off. Uh, they're targeting males mainly. Uh, let's go even deeper. Let's see the traffic sources. So they're targeting all of these different websites and we can then start going on all of these different websites, right, to be able to find um, this person's advertisement and to see other ads that this person's running. And look how long these persons be running these ads for, like 76 days, 166 days, 25 days, 49 days, 310 days, okay? And these ads are being seen recently as well. So, I mean, think about it. If this person's running all of these advertisements on these pages for this long, and generating so much traffic to his website, do you think he's running it profitably or not profitably? I mean, chances are it's probably gonna be profitably. And that's the great thing about this. And we can actually see some of his um, ads that he's running um, that are native ads. So he's sending a lot of native ad traffic because 
You can see there's 351 native ads, 28 text ads, two banner ads. And I mean, it's the same type of format, okay? Right here. Loads of different ads showing like different women making money that's gonna probably be sent into a different landing page. So I think this is the ad that we saw right here. But what we love to do is I actually like to go on, um, and see the top ads that he was running for maybe like the last 30 days, okay? And I like to sort it by ad strength. And I, let's say for example, UK. Let's see the top ads that he's running on content the ad in UK for the last 30 days. And we saw by ad strength, which is gonna be, um, it's just like a little algorithm that this um, thing has, uh, the, the, the What Runs Where software has, which basically shows us the best performing ads um, uh, for that specific network, and it gives it a point, point score, okay? So, we can see that this person, British millionaire, exposes how she makes 492 pounds an hour from home. Uh, how to get paid 6720 per month, right, from the job, uh, without a job in the UK. So there's all of these different ads that this person's running right now on content or ad in the UK, okay? And again, I mean, this is a very, very good software to be able to find um, what people are using very, very quickly, find ads that people are using. I mean, we can click on some of these ads like this one and we can look at some of the landing pages that this person's using. So these are the landing pages that this person is sending the traffic to. So he has this landing page right here, see this? has this landing page right here. And he has this landing page right here. And you basically typically want to go with landing pages that have the highest score. So this is the landing page as well that we just saw. And landing pages that have the highest score, which you can see right here, um, are typically the landing pages that he's been running for the longest. And you can see the first scene, so it's first scene on June, uh, June 15th, last scene uh, September uh, 16th, okay? So I mean, this landing page has been running for quite a long time, so it's probably been making a lot of money from this landing page. So I'll start to be able to develop um, a, a swipe file of different ads, landing pages, and offers that this person's running. And I might use softwares like What Runs Where. Um, again, you don't always have to use this. I mean, you can do a lot of, a lot of research, be able to find winning campaigns, um, just using manual, manual spying, where you just literally go on websites that get a lot of traffic, especially like blogs. Um, and literally start to look for ads, landing pages and offers that people are running that the specific owner of the website, the owner of the landing page, okay, is getting a lot of traffic. So again, look for people that have at least 100,000 people per month coming to the website. And if you guys are able to do that, then literally you can find winning campaigns that you can go out there um, and deploy it and absolutely crush it. And that's exactly how I was able to generate over $219,000 uh, from a campaign that literally we followed this process. Uh, we used uh, a VPN to be able to find uh, the campaign in a different country. Uh, we used the user agent switcher to be able to see campaigns on different devices. We followed the process of just literally browsing around online on different websites, um, different blogs, clicking on the advertisements, seeing people that, and it, I mean, this isn't something that is, is gonna be specific, like there's just one way how to do it. You can find different banner ads, okay? You can do the same process for banner ads. You can do the same process for native ads. You can do the same process for uh, search ads on, 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 on when you're typing in stuff on Google, okay, or Bing, and then you see the ads on the side. You can see stuff on Facebook, right, and click on Facebook ads. But this is the exact same process, the same mindset that I have when it comes to finding new campaigns and that a lot of big affiliates have when they find the new campaign campaigns. We want to basically follow this process step by step, find people that are running a lot of traffic to their website and basically try and see what they're doing. And you want to deploy it for ourselves, but we always want to improve on it. Okay. And that's called uh, split testing and optimizing. And we really want to improve on it uh, to be able to improve the results that we get with our campaign. Okay. But hopefully you guys, you really guys take some action on this and you guys uh, found some value from this video. But I mean, I, I really wanted to condense a lot of information into one time. I mean, you still have to uh, learn how to really um, run this kind of stuff for yourself, how to um, run stuff step by step on like a traffic network, how to be able to just do the kind of basic step by step stuff. And obviously I can't really just show you guys all of the information in one short video. And I know this is kind of ran on a bit longer than I wanted it to, but I mean, hopefully you guys have just seen the process and you understand that it's not a hard process to be able to find winning campaigns. And I mean, finding some campaigns that might be able to pay you uh, for every single lead that you can generate there might be a very, very good way for you to start off in the CPA game. So I've actually got a training and upcoming webinar that I'm actually gonna be doing where I'm gonna outline to you guys a very, very simple step-by-step -step way 
of how you can go out and really deploy this uh, process and i go way more in depth in this upcoming webinar well i'm gonna show you guys a pretty much a step-by-step -step process for how you can generate your first hundred thousand dollars uh with cpa okay and it's a completely free webinar as well so don't worry about it again i love to deliver massive amounts of value but it's going to take you the next step so i've kind of give you like a good introduction um of cpa but i really want to show you guys the next step and give you guys a practical game plan of how you can get to a um, hundred thousand dollars right i mean obviously i can't guarantee income so big income disclaimer i can't guarantee income but within this webinar it's going to be very very focused on a step-by-step -step game plan for you to follow that will be very, very hard for you to uh, kind of mess up um, if you follow the details and you follow the instructions I'm going to give to you. And um, it's going to be a step-by-step -step webinar that I'm going to show you guys exactly how to generate um, maybe your first $100,000 um, in, in the next coming year with CPA. Okay, It's going to be a very, very newbie-friendly webinar something that i'm going to be hosting in the, in the next couple of days that's going to really show you guys more of the behind the scenes of what i actually do and a step-by-step -step game plan um, of what you can do to be able to go out there and crush it so there should be a link somewhere around this page and actually in fact we actually are one of our clients um who actually um uh, generated a hundred thousand dollars i think within their second or third month uh working with us um, but again, I'm going to show you guys exactly what he was able to do to be able to really crush it and the, the methodology, the mindset, the practical game plans, the game, the practical action steps for you to be able to actually crush it with CPA. So there's going to be a link somewhere around this page for you to be able to register for that webinar. If you like this kind of content, make sure you always check out your emails for even more content. But guys, really, really take action on this. Um, and it's not really that hard. CPA is not hard compared to most business models. I mean, I'm going to show you guys in this upcoming webinar how easy it is to be able to generate a huge amount of income uh, from CPA and how I'm doing it at literally only the age of 23, okay? So guys, if I can do it, I don't see no reason why you can't do it. So make sure you register for this upcoming webinar. There's going to be a link around this page for you to register. Um, just make sure you pick the time and date that's going to be nearest to you. Okay, and pick your time zone. And then we are going to just try and just literally crush it and help you crush it with CPA and the best way I know possible. Okay, so it's your boy, Mr. Opulent. Hopefully you got some value from this training. I look forward to seeing you guys on the webinar. It's your boy, Mr. Opulent, and I'm going to see you guys on top.